I've spent the whole day sort of just processing what happened this morning. Happy Friday! It's my last day in Connecticut and it seemed appropriate to spend the last day sort of in the snow but I'm not gonna do this for very long. It took me a very long time to make this okay. Look at this really, look at how pathetic I am. Oh my god, the things that I do to be a vlogger. Okay, um, how do I go about this? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, hypothermia! I'm so scared. I did not think this through. I can't be here and not be in the snow. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, I can't feel my hands. Okay. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking. I'm gonna go inside now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god. This probably sounds dumb, but wow, this is actually so much better being inside. I was gonna vlog outside. I wanted to, but it's cold out. Look how cold it is. See, it's so cold. But yeah, it's my last day in Connecticut. I was gonna go to my high school and record videos with my teachers, and then they had a snow day today, so I can't. Now it's just gonna be really uneventful, and to be honest, I'm ready to get back to the island ready to get back to my friends. I'm sure you all miss my friends as much as I miss my friends. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Doggy, you haven't had your cameo yet. Say hi to the vlog. Oh my goodness, so cute. She literally like does not even care anymore that I'm home. Like she was excited for about 10 minutes and then she just doesn't care now. <laughs> she just doesn't care. She doesn't care. No, you don't. Mwah. Hello, you guys. Happy Saturday. Uh, I'm at JFK International Airport in New York City right now, and I'm looking at the plane that I'm going to get on to get back to Hawaii. And um, I don't know if you can see on that plane, it says Keoi. That's the name of the plane, Keoi. And when I saw that, I was sure that I'd heard that word before. Like, it sounded familiar, so I looked it up, and... Um, it means sweet potato. So I don't really know what that means for me. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna start crying. My flight was supposed to take off at 10 a.m. and it's noon. And we're finally boarding, y'all. Yes. <sighs> Land. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm back home. I'm in Honolulu. I'm at the airport. I'm gonna get a lift. I'm gonna go back to my room. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Every single cell phone in Hawaii just got this text message saying that a ballistic missile is incoming. A true realization that they've got 15 minutes to, to find some form of shelter or they're going to be dead. Gone. Um, I had so many plans to make this such a happy vlog. I was going to go from snow to the beach in the same vlog and it was really going to show you guys the contrast of what it's like where I'm from versus here in Hawaii but um sometimes things happen and plans change it's sort of crazy I did not at all plan what I was going to talk about before turning on the camera um I probably should have but I feel like having this be like this is much more raw. I've spent the whole day sort of just processing what happened this morning because it was probably, I would say it's the only point in my life in these past almost 19 years now where I've been like, wow, like I'm gonna die. Like actually, like I'm actually gonna die. This is not by any definition the story of everyone on the UH campus or on any of the islands of Hawaii. Um, this is just what my morning was like. So I woke up, it was like 7.30 in the morning. I hung out in bed for a little while. And then around eight o'clock or whatever, I went to go use the bathroom. And across from the bathroom doors, there's one of the, there's a girl's room and she opened the door and she was like, Oh my god, did, did you get that alert? And I was like, what alert? Because I hadn't looked at my phone in like five minutes. And like, what are the odds that I turn away for five minutes and then all of a sudden we're all going to die? But <laughs> I looked at my phone and there was a, an alert that said that there was a ballistic missile coming for Hawaii. It was not a drill. And we had to immediately seek shelter. I don't really think that in the moment I think thought like oh like I'm gonna die if I don't make it to shelter on time like I'm actually going to die like that didn't cross my mind right away I sort of did this thing where I threw myself into little tasks 
and I didn't really realize it or realize how I am in a crisis situation like that until afterwards when I was in analyzing what I was doing. I ran back to my room here. Um, you guys know my roommate Ashley. I made sure she was awake and she totally was. She saw the text. She was getting her stuff together. I grabbed two things, my phone and my phone charger. With my phone was also my debit card, my student ID, my key card for my room, and my military ID. I had all those things with me and I, I really didn't care about anything in this room, honestly. There was this room was the last thing that was on my mind because I knew that it was early and a lot of my friends had stayed up late last night so a lot of my friends weren't going to be up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Like that was not likely. My priority was to get all of them and get out. That was where my head was at and there are probably, and I know, I know there are some people, I was watching some people who were throwing together full backpacks of just material items from their room and I'm still baffled by that because I cannot believe that you are in the middle of a crisis situation where you think you have, what, 15 minutes to get your shit together and get out or you're gonna die and you're, you care about, like, I don't know, like, you're, whatever, I don't even know. I was talking to my roommate while we were getting stuff together and she said that she was gonna go get my friend Morgan who lives a couple doors down, you guys know Morgan, and I was going to go and get my friend Cutty, who live, who you also know, who lives right below us. So I walked out and I found one of my friends who, you guys, she's been in the vlog I think like once or twice. You guys don't know her super well, but she was very upset. She, her phone wasn't working. Um, she was crying. She couldn't find her roommate and stuff. And her hand, I remember her hands were like shaking. I brought her with me to go wake up Cutty. Kai woke up. <laughs> this is where, in the moment, it wasn't funny, but looking back on it, it's kind of funny. Where I knocked on his door, and he was dead asleep when I knocked on the door. I'm like, okay, um, hi, there's a nuclear missile coming at us right now, and we have 15 minutes to get out. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. Like, he literally, like, he, he was barely bothered by it. It didn't even, I don't even know how it didn't hit him. He said that his mom would have called if it was like really bad, so I don't know. He wasn't really freaking out. <laughs> actually, actually, at one point when he was getting his stuff together for us to leave, he literally was like, you know, you should have just let me sleep. And I was like, what? I'm not going to let you sleep. There are nuclear attack. I'm saving your life. But he really didn't think anything was going on because he knows people and in security, I guess. I don't really know. The three of us got our stuff we went down to a friend of ours below us again and we banged on his door he wasn't in there just like that actually that's perfect timing can i help you what are you doing vlogging about earlier today i forget where i left off though william got the alarm and then dipped yeah william who has been in the vlogs you probably know him from this famous clip i'm not gay anymore <laughs> literally apparently he woke up saw the alarm and dipped. He didn't wake anyone, he didn't grab anything, he didn't even wake his roommate. He just got up and he ran and we were like, I mean, I, I like, respect. I also told them, Kaiho, you said that I should have let you sleep. <laughs> After we realized William wasn't there, I figured that Ashley had you guys, yeah. Morgan and whoever else. So I figured that Ashley had you guys. So I focused on just getting to the shelter at this point. I did not know that Ashley was trying to get in contact with me. My bad. She couldn't get in contact with you, so she thought she didn't know where you were and she was yeah. scared. I did not mean to, to do that to Ashley. Ashley's and probably watching this too. Bye oh, bye. But okay, I'm gonna keep trying to tell the story while they're in here. If anything, they'll lighten the mood a little bit. Wait, wait, stop. More cameos. More cameos. Cameo. Cameo on the vlog. It's Daddy D! <laughs> what? The is this? This is the vlog! Wait, that was Daddy D, you guys! Okay. Flashback to when I first moved in here and I got scared by, by someone in a baby mask. I can't even explain what just happened. Um, I was walking in the hall looking for my roommate because I have a paper due tomorrow and I don't know how to work our printer, right? I was looking for her and one of my friend's doors was open so I looked into his room and then a guy with like a baby mask like a horrifying baby mask just walked out and I got scared so bad. I like screamed and I fell to the floor. I, this was that guy. Oh, we're friends now. I was trying to do such a serious vlog and you guys are totally ruining it. <laughs>
what's your theme? Where the you missile are? attack this morning? Oh yeah, that's pretty serious. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I just forgot about it. It's pretty good. 10 out of 10 on Yelp. Come to UH. <laughs> Come to UH. The UH. best part is that missiles. earlier, the best part is that earlier this week they actually got recognized by someone who said that they like sort of came to UH from UH. watching UH. my vlogs. And I was like, wow. As this was going on earlier today, I was thinking about them, and I was like, wow. Like, I'm so sorry I brought you here. What's his name? His name was Johnny Bruno. I wrote it in my notes. I did. Because I care. You're a cool I care. guy. Shouts out to Johnny Bruno. Whoop whoop. Johnny Bruno. Where is he from? Iowa, Iowa or Idaho. I'm sorry if I, I can't remember. Starts with well, an Iowa. Johnny Bruno from two. Iowa and Ohio. You're a cool guy. I love you. I love you. I was talking to Johnny Bruno. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it, but actually hours have passed. What time is it, Ashley? It's 2.04 in the morning. It was like probably 11 when I started filming that. But I'm going to finish the story now because I'm dedicated to the fact that I'm a vlogger and that is what I do. Also, Ashley is in here. Ashley, say hi! Hi! Okay. <laughs> Where did I leave off? I left off at, we pounded on William's door. Boom, boom, boom. He wasn't in there. I said that he dipped. He just grabbed his stuff, he dipped. At that point, me, the friend that I'd found that was upset, and Kai, all were, we were running out of time, so we were like, okay, well, we have to go. So we ran down the, probably what, I think five flights, six flights of stairs or something like that, and then we sprinted towards where we thought the fallout shelter was, where it's not even actually a fallout shelter. Nothing on campus really is actually a fallout shelter at this point because they haven't really updated the fallout shelter since the Cold War. So <laughs> we went where we thought the safest place was, which was somewhere in Bilger Hall, which was farther away on campus. Halfway there, we heard that we were supposed to go to the Marine Sciences Building. We didn't know why at the time, but we went to the Marine Sciences Building because that building was all like cement and it was, there weren't really windows. And as far as buildings could go, it was a pretty safe building. It wasn't below the ground, but it was close enough. Um, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm safe. It feels okay to call my mom and my dad and everything now and just to be like, okay, so like a missile's coming. Um, I love you. I don't know. And I was literally a minute away from doing that when people started saying that it was fake. And that <laughs> Ashley's laughing at me. It's, it's all just a his, it's all hysterical laughing. It's very fun. Um, <laughs> everyone was pretty shaken. We were all pretty much on this crazy adrenaline high when we were heading back. That's when I called my mom and my dad and every people, and I was like, hey, just so you know, because I didn't want them to see the news and think that I was still dying. Um, <laughs> so I called them and everything. We got back. We found out that they tweeted that there was no missile. 20 minutes after we got the notification, it took them another 20 to half minutes to a half hour before we all got the notification on our phones. A lot of the argument is that, you know, we tweeted it, so it's fine. And like, no, it's not, because when you tweeted it, I was rallying my friends to go to a nuclear fallout shelter so I could maybe survive a nuclear attack. So, um, people are sort of normalizing that, and that's kind of stupid. I, and I mean, it, it's not me being shady that I'm saying that they should have sent that to our phones sooner. Like, I tweeted about that too. Like, follow me on Twitter at Emily OK Hello. If you don't believe me, it's right there. Um, oh, also, and this is something that I wasn't sure if I should mention because I'm not sure who from the university watches my videos, but the reason we went into the makeshift shelter and we didn't go to the original Fallout shelter was because no one could get into the original fallout shelter, like nobody had the key at the time. Even under those circumstances where nobody had the key, even though they totally should have had the key, and all that and whatever, and it's messed up that we couldn't get in there, and I'm very still upset. We would have died either way. And I'm still very upset about that. Ashley's right, we would have died either way. Even with all of that, the university still kind of handled it really well. I mean, it really was anarchy and chaos. People were crying, calling their families, um, running, sprinting. Um, yeah, everyone really thought that they were gonna die. And you know, I didn't really think it while it was happening. It wasn't until after and even now where I'm just kind of like, oh wow, like I really was in this is it mode. Like I'm gonna die and this is what's gonna happen. And that's literally where my head was. So yeah. And again, I apologize because this was gonna be such a happy vlog. I was gonna go in the same vlog from snow in Connecticut all the way to the beach in Hawaii. But you know, Sometimes that just doesn't happen because I probably could have gone to Waikiki today, 
but it would have been a lot of anarchy and chaos. So I saved myself the trouble and I stayed in with my friends and we all just sat around and loved each other because sometimes you just need to do that, okay? It's messed up because like, it's not okay that I thought I was gonna die, that Ashley probably thought she was gonna die, that all my friends, people that go to this university, people that live on these islands all probably thought they were gonna die and that sucks and that's not okay. Up the security, please, because I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> it was horrible, but yeah. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was a lot more of a story time vlog, sort of by accident, but you know, when you live through a national crisis, it's pretty important to document it in some way, shape, or form. So yeah, on that note, that is the vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe to join the Ohana, because the Ohana is lit as fuck. <laughs> This week's shout out goes to Johnny Bruno, who I mentioned before. Johnny Bruno, you met my friends, and they all said that you were so dope, and I love that you were so nice to them, and you were so excited to meet them, and I just, uh, I just love all of you, and I love it when you guys, like, see me or message me and all that thing. It just makes me so happy. If you want to be next week's shout out, though, you can retweet this week's vlog on my Twitter account at EmilyOKHiHello, like I said before, and yeah. Anything else to add, Ashley? Good night. Good night. <laughs>